I want author and this month blessing. How do I get it? If you want it, you need to prepare something. Before start unlocking the otter enrichment blessing, you will need karma for the very first collection. In total, you need to farm 350,000 karma. The domain of Istan or Dragonfall will be the best way to farm karma. Do not forget to buy the karmic retribution effect to the highest stacks, it will cost you 10,000 volatile magic and 15 gold. After you got the karmic retribution effect to the highest stacks, you will get karmic retribution dropping every time you kill an enemy on that map. Every time you consume that from your inventory, you will receive 200 karma. If you already understand what you need to prepare, you can proceed to the next step, Olaf Olafsson's secret achievement. Here you need to explore the entirety of Drizzlewood Coast and find the map pieces to discover Olaf Olafsson's treasure key. There is five objective in this achievement. Clue 1, from the lighthouse, head north. You need to spend 5 gold and 350,000 karma for a map fragment that can be purchased from any United Legion's quester. Clue 2, upon reaching the arch, head west. After completing the Defeat the Claw of Jormag event, a chest containing the item is opened. Clue 3, go beyond the crag. After defeating one of the 10 enemy cache keepers, or seizing Wolf's Crossing you can access enemy supply caches that can you loot. Clue 4, stop at the falls. Opening Norn and Char chests come with a chance to find this fragment. Clue 5, look in the center of 6 guardians. Looted from the chest that appears after defeating one of the 5 Dominion Tribunes. If you have already finished the previous step, you can proceed to the next step, Treasure Sleuth Achievement. You need to search throughout the Drizzlewood Coast for treasure hunters that have clues that lead to Olaf Olafsson's treasure. Treasure Key Found the key can be found underwater, buried in debris, in the middle of the six pillars located southeast of forward camp waypoint. Clue 1, it's supposedly somewhere with harsh weather. Go to the eastern coast of Lighthouse Point a bit northeast of the vista to find this treasure hunter. Clue 2, keep an eye out for the door. Go to the east of the Archstone Coast Char Copter Airdrop to find this treasure hunter in between a mountainside and a larger tree. Clue 3, in Talons of Snow. Go to the northwestern peak of the mountain west of Sentinel Bay Char Copter Airdrop to find this treasure hunter. Clue 4, Olafson had an interest in Norn and Dwarven relics. Go to the inside of the Cavern of Guiding Spirits close to the end of the Ox's Yoke Adventure to find this treasure hunter. Clue 5, near a tower. Go to the outside atop the southern mountain ledge next to where the path in Drizzlewood Peak leads into the Cavern of Guiding Spirits to find this treasure hunter. Clue 6, somewhere at Claw's Roost. Go to the eastern mountain ledge at the borderlines between the Bloodfield and Frostvane Watch, north of the Flight of the Eagle Spirit Adventure to find this treasure hunter. If you have already finished the previous step, you can proceed to the next step, Significant Otter. You need to obtain and use memories of Otter from powerful enemies in the Drizzlewood Coast or by salvaging charged Stormcaller weapons. You need to use 320 memories of Otter to complete this achievement. There is two way to acquire memories of otter. First, you can farm it by defeating Dominion Tribune in the northern Drizzlewood Coast meta. Then open Tribune's chest and you will get up to three memories of otter. Then open Magnificent chest after defeating the Claw of Jormag and Claw's Roost at the end of meta, you will get four to nine memories of otter. Second, you will get ten by salvaging one Charget Stormcaller weapon or Volcanic Stormcaller weapon. After finishing significant otter achievement, you will receive an ancient Norn cape pin as the final reward. This ascended amulet is contained with the otter's blessing enrichment. You can extract the enrichment using the infusion extraction device, or simply salvage the amulet using ascended salvage kit, but it will destroy the amulet. After you extract the otter's blessing enrichment, you can use it in any of your ascended or legendary amulets you have. And then enjoy the otter when it's swimming around you. Thank you for your guide, I will go unlock it right now. You're welcome, please like this video so you can come back again later if you forget what you need to do. Also, you can comment below with what you want to know. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative content about MMOs.